there was black ice, but I thought it was, you know, water running out of one of the yards and I stepped on it and I freaking fell. And <laughs> I was in shambles. One time the early shift at work used to bother me, but after doing it for a while, and that is coming from Queens, I feel like it doesn't bother me as much anymore because waking up so early and moving around and getting stuff done and going to work early and actually getting off a little bit earlier, it makes me feel so much more productive than sleeping late and going to work late in the day, like 12 o'clock and then coming off late. I remember it always made me feel so sluggish. I mean, it's an amazing shift either ways because at least in the mornings, you get to sleep in for a little bit longer and, you know, enjoy the mornings in bed and whatever. But I like feeling productive and the productivity that this morning shift makes me feel, I am not mad at it at all. Also, as I'm walking to work, there is a lot of black ice out here, which I'm so afraid of and I'm afraid for a reason. I remember one morning I was going to work and there was black ice but I thought it was you know water running out of one of the yards and I stepped on it and I freaking fell and <laughs> I was in shambles I remember when I fell I got up so quickly because it freaked me out that I fall on water but I didn't realize that honey this isn't water this is ice love so since then out of breath. Since then, I've been so cautious. If it looks like black ice, not stepping on it. And if it looks like water, I'm still not stepping on it. But I am headed out. It's early. I'm not even hungry. And my coffee made me feel good. I feel like if I don't have, if in the mornings I don't drink coffee, I'm kind of grumpy and not in one of the great greatest moods <laughs> so because i'm vlogging people are just looking at me crazy i remember one time i used to be so afraid because people would look but now i don't even care anyways i feel like when i don't have the coffee it makes me feel lazy and i literally have to be dragging myself in the mornings but now that i had some coffee you know it kind of warms my body up and pretty much gets my engine started, which is good. I'm going to the train station right now, so I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll pick the vlog back up later because I leave work a little bit early. I don't know, I might just be saying this. I also redid my nails and I got a color this time. For the longest, I was just working with the color of the acrylic, which was kind of like a coral type peach type color but I decided to change it up plus I was trying to do that ombre that I've done before and I put some tealish greenish acrylic down to the cuticle area and that shit looked disgusting so I had to polish it I came early so now I have to sit down and wait for the little supervisor guy to come and um, open the doors and stuff he normally comes at about um, 9.20, 9.25 sometimes um, and the store opens at 9.30 so I'm just sitting in a restaurant that we normally buy lunch at to kill the time until he comes to open the place and I have to tinkle so bad so I can't be out here walking around either or I'm gonna pee on myself which is not good so now I play the waiting game and hope the time passes really quickly so I can go in and pee and pretty much get the day started but yeah just watch the times when you have nothing to do how the time just runs off so quickly but let something be happening like right now when i want to pee so bad i feel like the time is moving so slow the last time i checked was like 903 and right now it's 911 and i just feel like the time needs to be moving already if i was just sitting here for no reason trying to catch up on social media or whatever the time would have run off so quickly it's like when I'm on my lunch time, the time goes so quickly. And 
I really be wanting it to slow down, but now when I want it to go fast, it's not, it's barely just creeping. The universe really just wants me to pee on myself out here, huh? It's crazy. I love how my skin has been doing so good. Let me not say that because last week I had two pimples right here, which I was really in freaking shambles about. And when I spoke about it at work, my coworker was like, Janine, shut the hell up because those are very small compared to what other people have to deal with, which they were. But I just feel like for my skin, two big ass pimples like that, that's a lot. And my skin was really dragging it. But then I um, started using my Vino more and stopped eating all the shit I'm not supposed to be eating because I felt like that is what was really making it come on like that. But then again, I go back to eating the same thing because they're just so good. And how are you gonna stay away from um, milk and cheese and all that stuff? Plus I have to drink coffee in the mornings. And then I have some little snacks here and there that I really like that are probably cheese or chocolate or something like that. So I just cannot live or I just cannot win. Either one. I'm home a little bit ago. My hair is an absolute mess and I'm really about to go wash it right now because I can't go to work like this tomorrow. It's so much build up product on there where it started looking um, like hair products. So I'm gonna have to fix it. So I'm gonna go do that right now, it's already down. I'm gonna go wash it.